Hey everyone, it's Tim Maria here live at the Digital Health Summit Studio at CS 2014, uh, brought to you by Ideal Life. We just had a really cool panel. We had Terrence Gregg on stage here. We've got a, just a number of folks talking about how digital health has saved my life. So today's guest is Nathan Harding, who's the co-founder and CEO of Exobionics. Yeah, that's right, Exobionics. I almost said Biosonics, but there's a lot of bionics and robotics and really cool things going on at CS this year. Oh yeah, you know, uh, at Exobionics, we really believe there's just this wave of human augmentation that's coming towards the world, and it's been about things like hearing aids so far. But now the IT revolution has really made the computer machine interface so rich that we can make this human machine interface that allows them to do all kinds of things. So we can start to augment people with robotics, and that's what we do. We do wearable robotics. And you know, it's going to get amazing. You're going to see people running faster, jumping higher. And I think for me, it's going to culminate when you see grandma at the mall showing off her hip new exo pants that now let her take a walk with her grandkids that before she was too tired to do, right? So it's life-changing technology, but you're really in the rehabilitation business. Yeah, that's right. So that's where we started, and that's a very strategic thing, thing for us, is that right now we have a great rehabilitation tool, and it's used in rehabilitation centers, mainly with people who've had a neurological problem like a stroke or a traumatic brain injury. And those people are going through a process of relearning how to walk that's usually called gait training. And, and our device allows the, the physical therapist now to gait train people that would have been impossible to gait train before to do it much earlier, to get much more steps out. And it uses a very sophisticated learning algorithm to provide just enough help to them and no more because you want them working as hard as possible and learning, right? And, and that's really where the excitement is right now. And so, so right now you see a lot of people who they, the patients are supposed to walk out of the machine, we say, because you know when you're done, you should be able to walk on your own. So that's really what we do right now. Now, of course, what everybody wants to talk about is the excitement of the future where a complete paraplegic like our friend Paul Thacker, who yeah, you sure. interviewed, um, can take it home and use this as part of his daily life. And he'll get health benefits probably from that. We need yeah. to substantiate that. But at the same time, we, he, he can do social activities, you know, he can interact with the world in a, in a much more natural way, walking. And so that's, that, that's off in the future, and that's where we're headed, and it's really exciting. But right now, we're a rehabilitation company. Yeah, it seems like a cure for depression, too. I mean. Well, that's true. I mean, we get that in spades, and actually, in all of the clinical research we're doing, we always tell people, hey, measure something psychosocial because we literally have people leave our facility crying all, all the time and they're you know they're really excited to be able to walk again it's really amazing to see and to see how the families react and yeah, it's really great so there's a hundred fifty four thousand people here i think this week uh millions tuning in what's your ask what are you trying to get out of cs and, and what type of help are you looking for type of customers well, I think um, CES for us is an opportunity to look at a lot of people that we could partner with, um, especially on the health data side. Um, we have a very sophisticated data system in the machine that's you know, always using the cellular network to send us tons and tons of data. And so the question is, like, um, you know, what, what kind of partners can we find to really augment that data stream and maybe find ways to monetize it as well, you know? Sounds good. So how do people find out more information? Uh, you can go to our website, exobionics.com. That's E-K-S-O, bionics.com. That's a good domain name. I like that. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, thanks for being on the show. All right. Thanks for having me.